So the last type of solving question that we have to do is to solve equations where the x is inside of a logarithm. So these are called logarithmic equations. And the idea for solving any, right, any equation where the x is inside a log, again, you're not as used to logs, you're better at working with exponentials. The goal for these is to change to exponential form. Because if you can change a log to an exponent, you're more familiar with it, it's probably going to be easier to solve. Okay? Now, the only way we can change it to an exponential form, if that's our goal, it kind of makes the steps make sense. The very first thing you need to do is get a single logarithm. Because if you have a single logarithm, then you can use the definition to change to exponential form. So what does that mean for the question that we're looking at? Can you see that we have two logarithms? Those two logarithms are added. They have the same base. We have a log log that says I could put them together with multiplying, and then I would get log 3, 9x times x would be 9x squared equals 4. So step one, if you can change it to a single logarithm, then you can do your goal. The main goal is to change to exponential form. Well, I have a logarithm. I know that the base is 3, the exponent is 4, and the answer is 9x squared. Step three. You just have to now solve for x. Now it's in from like, okay, 3 to 4 is 81. Divide both sides by 9. Square root both sides. And you get plus or minus 3. But with a logarithm, logarithms are a lot like square roots. Whenever you get your answer, there may be... extraneous roots, and what an extraneous root is, is an answer that appears to be right, but when you check it, it is not right. And the way that we check for an extraneous root is the fact that you can't take the logarithm of a negative number. So I need to now plug in both positive and negative 3 into my original equation. Can you see if you plug in positive 3, you only have positive numbers in logs. That's okay. But when you plug in negative 3, you'd have log 3 of negative 27. Logs of negative numbers don't exist. So then, of these two answers, this one needs an x through it. And the only answer is x equals 3. So this is how we solve log equations. This, in fact, section 5.7, everything we've done algebraically is to lead up to these two main things. We already solved exponential equations by taking the logarithm of both sides. Now we're solving log equations by changing it back to exponential form. So we need logs to solve exponential equations. We need the exponential form to solve log equations. Okay. We can circle questions 3, 4, and 9. But we'll do example 2 right away. 